Do do do. Mousey Mars. Hey guys, Mousey Mars here. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, today I have got some fantastic news. Our quarry has finished. Uh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get to this. Um, so as you know, before I just had it hooked up to this here chest, and that was it. And you know, we had our bins down here to throw out, you know, stuff like uh, this rock hive and miners' delights and basically the chisel blocks as well because they're kind of I don't need them and the algae um, but basically you can see down there that the pipe kind of goes this way under this floor it comes over here and um, all of the dense ores I'll show you which ores are going into this chest basically all of the dense ores here they all get smelted automatically into normal ores and uh, obviously these do these ores here give us give us stuff out and into this chest here uh, and then this here automatically gets sucked out and into these now the good thing about these is I've set oh yeah hidden door okay so I've set all of these on in and out mode and obviously it's automatically sucking out so that's the reason all the barrels lock if you unlocked one of these barrels and emptied it uh, like such as this one which is for some reason not locked then basically the items would get sucked out and put into it um, from one of these barrels so yeah they're all on suck out and I, the reason I done that was so that I could um, bring pipes over somewhere let's say I wanted to smelt up everything I could just run a pipe from like here or somewhere over to here and just pipe in all of the ores that I, and I could process them all uh, or what I needed and now we have a lot of stuff here okay so we have three gold barrels for the sand here because I th it, it was getting close to 190 whatever it takes inside these barrels here they're all upgraded completely uh, to what they can be uh, uh, this one here is obviously a gold barrel it's almost got uh, 500 stacks of coal in there 300 stacks of iron 155 stacks of redstone 166 what is that silver ore, uh, tin, gold, lead, we got 18 stacks of diamond, I actually did just fortune up a stack of it, so yeah, um, we do have quite a bit, and obviously this isn't exactly what we've got, I did actually, I think I've used some of these resources to make some stuff, um, not this, I, I did make a hack and slash thing so I could make more of these filters instead of having to constantly go over to Orton's base, but you know, uh, that's that. It's actually really easy to make as well, the slice and spice. You can already see what we're doing today. We're doing these tools here. Draconian tools. Um, slice. Can I see the slice and spice? Yeah, here it is. It's quite cheap. Um, it just takes this machine chassis, which you've made before. Uh, it takes these solarium, which you basically put in, um, where is it? Gold and soul sand into an alloy smelter. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, you need to get a head, which we have some zombie heads. I've actually uh, I, I made one of these, and then I made three of these zombie logic controller. So that lets us make three of those advanced filters if we need to, and then just some shears. So it's it's quite a cheap machine. And then obviously inside you put these in, then you can put in your recipe and and stuff like that. Obviously it's got a full upgrade there as well. Just threw that right there. All of these machines are now upgraded. All of them are on resident including these two I thought you know what since I can afford to I may as well and I also of course made these upgrades here um, now this one here doesn't have the free speed upgrades I put in the basic speed one and then I put this these two in these basically give us what is it a uh, in total 35% chance of getting a secondary out which is uh, very useful when we want to get stuff like uh, what is it the the uh, sludge sledge I don't know you get it and then you can double wars and stuff in the in the smeltery uh, not the smeltery the induction smelt with it um, so yeah we have we have lots of stuff here and it, I'm really happy obviously we've got way too much lapis in the chests up there anyway but now we have even more lapis and even more redstone which we have a spawner for um, so yeah now this isn't everything that we get from the quarry uh, back here you may have seen already I have deep stores so this isn't all of the stone uh, you may remember me saying I wasn't going to collect up the stone and I put a filter for it basically I decided about what one two three four five six seven hours after I started the quarry that I'd collect up the stone so we got 1.6 million stone in uh, in the time 
like, like after that seven hours. Um, we would have had way more if we had done it in that seven hours. It actually finished, I think, sometime last night. I, I, I went to bed and it was still going, but it was kind of calming down a bit. So, yeah. So, I think we might make our base out of that. And then, obviously, we have one stack 28 of this. Now, I was actually... Um, fortuning this as it came in so we got quite a bit more uh, and I fortuned it all up and I made ingots and blocks out of it so yeah that's our quarry it's done now it's actually inside this this bag here wherever is it here there it is there's our quarry uh, just inside that bag so yeah um, I did actually I don't think I've explained what this ender pouch is basically with your ender chest you can right shift click a pouch on and if it has a diamond on the end, if I took that diamond off and then shift clicked it again, it would remove the diamond from this pouch. Basically, it just it links up to that chest. So I can open that or I can open the chest to get to my items. And uh, I have a blue one here as well. I was going to make another ender pouch. Basically, once I've got AE and stuff set up, the blue ender pouch is to throw stuff into the system. Um, just, you know, if I'm out and about and my inventory's full, I can just clear it and stuff like that. But uh, I haven't got that set up yet because we don't really have an AE system or anything. So today, I, we are going to make these draconium tools. The Oh, sorry, these, not draconium, these wyvern or waven, however you want to say it. I think I'm going to say wavern because it sounds better. But hey, you can do what you want. Um, so I'm going to make these. I've made up these draconium cores, which is some draconium golden diamonds, basically. Now, the next core up does require... Nether stars. Now I have 11. Uh, we did fight some withers on camera as well. Um, and then in here, just oh, they require more. It looks like we're gonna have to make up more of those. No big deal. And I'll get out some of these redstone things. Uh, is that all we need? Yeah. By the look of it, that's it. I've got everything. Oh, we need some more diamonds. No, we have enough. You know what? Just in case. Yeah, I do have diamond blocks now. Um, grab out some sticks as well. So. For this guy we need a pick okay got the pick do we need a shovel yes oh hang on we need a diamond shovel uh, so let's grab ourselves one of those I take it we need a diamond sword yes oh wow what a guess that was and uh, the bow I think we just need a normal bow yeah so some three string which we have in here one two three okay and then we will go ahead and make up this bow um, done perfect uh, I, I constantly sort my inventory and stuff, I don't know why, I just natural instinct now I guess. So let's make up these cores, we can make four of them. And that was one for each tool, I think, yeah, that's it, one for each tool. So now we'll, we'll, um, we'll make up four more of these things for the uh, power things. Actually, you know, you know what, I'm going to make another one, because I want to upgrade the, um, I think we're carrying around a low tier... Uh, thing to charge up our tools and stuff. Yeah, we're carrying around a resident one. I was going to upgrade, update it to a um, a resident one, but we can just make one of these guys. Throw these guys into the charger now uh, to charge all of this stuff up because obviously it's going to take quite a while, I assume. Since this thing here holds 80 million RF. In fact, I think I might upgrade the power conduit between here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'm going to wait for this. I might upgrade the power conduit. Probably will, actually. Seems like a good idea. And uh, once all of these things are charged up, they all have like 80 million RF charge, I think. Oh, rapid fire bow. Yeah, and then um, I want to get the enchants as well. So I'll probably get the books and stuff uh, for the enchants. We can put efficiency 5 on these things and everything. So um, I'll probably go over there to that um, smeltery thing. Uh, not smeltery thing. <laughs> The, uh, the Ender I.O. little bookie thing that we got there and uh, we'll probably go ahead and do that um, now for the f I will actually make up the IC2 stuff that we need so if I search industrial craft 2 what we need for this UU matter that's what we that's what we need and we need to replicate obviously we've got a world we've got an age full of UU matter so we don't really have to generate it but I want to have the machines there anyway um, so basically what we're going to need is, if I can find the blocks here, um, can I see them? No. <laughs> I know one of them's got like a little thing on it. Uh, mass fabricator, yeah, we need this guy here to produce the UU matter, I believe. 
Um, I can't actually remember. Once I see the interface, I'll know for sure. Um, we need one of these scanner things. Where where are the scanners? We need yeah, a scanner, and we also need a pattern storage for the scanner. These things are not cheap. Uh, <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. They're not cheap at all. Um, they need teleporters, which are uh, advanced circuits, advanced machine casing, which requires advanced alloys, which requires this thing, and... Oh! <laughs> you really go down the rabbit hole here. Okay, guys, so I've just found out that I'm breaking an efficiency. Don't do anything to this sword. <clears throat> and the way that, obviously, anvils let you put stuff on, um, but if you go into the infantry, you can't actually put these books in there. So I'm starting to think that the... Uh, I'm breaking that I've put on all of this armor probably is not working at all and that it was a waste um, in fact it, it oh I didn't put on breaking on the helmet that's lucky because it, it, if I had of it would have been a complete waste um, but I can tell you aqua infinity and respiration do work if I hop down here oh you see look I can see clearly I can see clearly now that something's gone. We can't really say rain, it's not raining, but yeah, uh, I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, I have to, I haven't actually, I, I just found this out when I was fighting blazes here. I haven't checked these other tools, I should do that right now. Let's see, so if these books can't go in. Okay, unbreaking, yeah, unbreaking doesn't go on any of these tools, does it? Nope. <laughs> oh god, that's terrible. Nope, no, I'm breaking. Fortune goes on. Take one of them out and throw it into the end of pouch. But yeah, um, it's kind of, it's kind of sucky. I'll show you this again. Hang on. It's kind of a little bit sucky that, uh, you know, I just wasted all of that. <laughs> all of these resources getting these books uh, for it not to work also I did make a um, Britannia soldier stash which uh, you just make it using an rune of earth, rune of air, man of steel or leather you uh, click these onto their runic court and then throw some living rock on it I'm not actually going to do any Britannia on camera that will be um, an off camera thing that I will do can see it all over there. If you do want me, guys, guys, if you want me to explain the Britannia stuff to you, uh, maybe like do a tutorial, I can do that, but I won't be doing it here. You know, I'll make a separate kind of video. Um, I'm gonna use this sword from now on, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.